good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told out of voice radio. So today, we need to look at the most expensive Pokemon card that has ever been sold. And I mean this, right? Literally the most expensive Pokemon card that has ever been sold. You see, Illustrator Pikachu was sold in Lindbrook, New York by Vice Auctions yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, or the day before, very recently. And it sold for $195,000. Yes, that's right. Somebody went and spent $195,000 on a Pokemon card. Now, I've shown you a couple of videos recently whereby Pokemon cards have been very expensive and people have spent lots of money. But this is just a whole different level. This is a, a complete cut above anything we've seen before. In terms of just, it, it, it's, it's, it's 200 grand on a Pokemon card. Now look, I love me some Pokemon. Let, let, let's make no bones about it. But come on, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it was predicted to go for somewhere in the region of one hundred and twenty-five to $175,000. So I suppose in that regard, it's actually um, sold for even more than we thought. Now, this isn't actually the full story. Now, PokerGuardian.com has helped us out with some of the details here. But when you win an auction at an auction house like that, there is a 15% buyer's premium added. So, actually, it, it's $195,000 for the card. But the 15% buyer's premium is going to come in at $29,250. What that means is the buyer's premium, the fee essentially, is almost $30,000. That's a year's wages for some people. I mean, according to CNBC, the median household income in the United States is $56,500. This is more than half of that. This is more than half of the average yearly wage. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. Now, if we have a little bit of a look at the adverts that the auction house put up, it reads like this. Pokemon Pikachu Illustrator Trainer Promo Holographic Trading Card 1998. Graded PSA 9 Mint. Fan favorite Pikachu stars on the most valuable and rarest Pokemon card in the world. Although the technical name for the card is Pokemon Illustrator, it is colloquially known as Pikachu Illustrator due to the image. As a side note, I've always heard it called it Illustrator Pikachu, but uh, let's move on. What makes it so rare is that it was not sold, but awarded as a prize in an illustration contest through Koro Koro Comic. This unique card was created specifically for the contest. In the January 1998 issue, three first place winners won a copy of the card, as did another 20 second place winners. With cards awarded in two more contests that year, there were a maximum of 39 copies released. It is not known exactly how many surviving copies are still around. However, only 10 PSA certified copies are known. A very important note, because there are many counterfeit copies. This card is considered the most rare of an individual Pokemon card. This is the only card in the long-running collectible card game series to say Illustrator at the top of a trainer card, and the only one to bear the pen symbol in the bottom right-hand corner. The artwork is by Atsuko Nishida. So, let's dig into that a little more, shall we? Now, one of the reasons it's so rare is because it is PSA graded. PSA is a company that specializes in authenticating both the validity and the condition of collectible cards. And they rate cards on a scale of 1 to 10. Now, this is a 9, which means it is mint, but it's not gem mint. Gem mint would be PSA 10 which means it's an incredibly good condition. Bearing in mind this is from 1998, so we're talking about a 20-year-old card at this stage. Now, the lovely Primal Lugia over at PokerGuardian.com has gone and done some digging here and found out that this has been graded as in 
Illustrator Pikachu has been graded a total number of 18 times. Now this means there have been 18 gradings. Neither him nor I can confirm nor deny that there may have been re-gradings. That is to say that if a card did not get the grading they initially wanted, or it's graded as authentic, but then it gets regraded to get a particular score, etc., etc. The answer is we, we don't really know. It's been graded 18 times. We don't exactly know if any of them were regradings. But if we have a look at the scores, four of them were graded as authentic. And then we got one grade four, one grade five, one grade six, no sevens, four grade eight, six grade nines, and one grade ten. So not only do we actually have here the rarest Pokemon card in the world, not only do we actually have a genuine Illustrator Pikachu, but it's actually more than that. You see, there may have been 39 of these released, or at least up to 39, but there's only been seven that achieved a PSA score of nine or above. As a quick side note here, if a PSA 9 sold for $195,000, you've got to wonder, how much would a PSA 10 sell for? The reality is, the person who owns a PSA 10, there is a very, very strong chance that they are a collector who is just not letting go of that card. So the, the sad answer is, we, we might never know. We might legitimately never know the answer of how much it would sell for, because it may well be that whoever owns it will never actually sell it. So why so much? I mean, there are a couple of other factors going on here. This is being sold through an auction house. Now, that can have both a positive and a negative effect on value. Because it's being sold in an auction house, it's being sold at a particular time in a particular venue, sometimes that drives interest a little bit down, because there are people who just aren't ready, etc., etc., but it can also have the opposite effect. It can also have the effect of, right, everyone knows it's being sold, let's all go along, and then you've got multiple interested parties bidding against each other, which can push the value right up. The fact that it's sold through a proper auction house also has the brilliant effect of making sure that you know it's by the buy, you've got buyer protection, it's not going to get lost in the post like another valuable card we talked about recently. You know that it's something that can actually be trusted. Plus, Pokemon is big right now. We've had the Pokemon Go craze, we've had Detective Pikachu, and now we've got Sword and Shield coming up in the near future. The reality is we're actually in... I mean, look, we're not at early 90s stage. But in early 90s, you didn't have the collectible nostalgia of old rare things. In terms of, hey, Pokemon's old and rare, etc., etc., this is the golden age. This is the best really Pokemon has been for, for quite some time at this stage. So there is a decent chance that that has actually had some effect on this as well. I can't say for certain, but that, well, it makes sense to me. So there are actually a bunch of factors at play here, which push the price of this right up. So let's just finish off going back here to this question of where this card officially came from. So in the November 1997 issue of Koro Koro Comic, released on October the 15th, there was an art competition, and the winning entries were announced in January 1998. Shout out to Bulbapedia for helping out with this information. Now, there were three entrants that received the best award, which actually gave them 20 copies of their card, and a copy of this card. And then there were 20 other people who got the excellent award, giving them a copy of this card. That released 23 copies of this card into the wild. Now, there were two further art competitions held. The Mewtwo's Counter-Attack Commemoration Illustration Artist Contest, yeah, a little bit of a mouthful, was announced in the May 98 issue of Koro Koro. And then Pikachu's Summer Vacation Commemoration Illustration Art Contest, was announced in the June 1998 issue of Koro Koro. Both of them were asking people to design their own cards, and they were judged both on the art and the creativity of the attacks on the Pokemon card. Now, the Mewtwo's Counter-Attack Commemoration Illustration Artist Contest, winners were announced in July 1998 issue, and there was one award for Best Overall, four 
for illustration and free for attacks, giving a further 8 copies of the card, bringing us up to 31 copies in total. Although the overall winner also got 20 copies of their card. And winners of the Pikachu Summer Vacation Commemoration Illustration Artist Contest were announced in the August 98 issue of Korokoro. Koro. And there were four excellence awards for both illustration and attack. And each of them received a copy of this card. Which as far as I'm aware makes 35 copies of the card. It is exceedingly rare ladies and gentlemen. There are not many copies of it out there. And there's even fewer in good condition. The thing to remember is these were given away essentially to children who won art competitions. So... Yeah, <laughs> shall we say they don't always get kept in the best condition. I'm sure many of you have got old cards that you did not keep in the best condition. So there we go, it sold for an obscene amount of money and if it ever gets out into the wild again, if another one is sold, it's probably fair to assume that the exact same thing will happen again. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The record has been broken for most valuable Pokemon card ever, although I think it's fair to assume that we might see this broken in the future. Either way, I'd like to know what you think about this story, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio